Dr. Lee, there's a lot of talk about safe space these days, mm. and you mentioned it in your presentation as well. Yeah. Um, can you share what you understand safe space to actually look like? And if I, as a minister, wanted to create safe space for my young people, yeah. what would that look like? How would I start? Hmm, that's a great question. Um, I think of safe space as a place where somebody can exhale. <laughs> oh. can just be who they are, oh, how lovely. they are, right? And just, yeah. uh, and how do you do that? That comes from being able to affirm the young person that they are seen, they are loved, and they are accepted. Yeah. And so in all the, and I'll go over some of the layers that I think of, but that should be the, the, the fundamental um, purpose of a safe space, a place where someone can go be themselves, not judged, well-loved, and cared for. Sure. And it's the dependable space. That is a space that isn't just going to go away, that they don't have to worry about the space not being there, that this is their safe harbor and that they can get to. I think about safe spaces in physical space. Mm. So if you're designing a, 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 a youth hangout room or you know space, what are the visual cues you're providing this young person that they're seen, affirmed, loved, mm. and that they're welcomed? Mm. So in my office, for example, if you were to walk in, you will see, you know, I have rainbow flags as, you know, on my table. I have Black Lives Matter on my computer. Mm -hmm. I, there's all these cues that without even saying anything, yeah, you know. already think, I hope, right, that yeah. you're picking up some safety cues from now. Now, you might still be skeptical because young folks tend to check us out before they um, give yeah. all of themselves to us. But sure. um but that is that space inviting? Is that space welcoming? And do you mean it? You know, is it just a poster? Is it just a sticker? Mm -hmm. Or do you really? You know, are the, what are the books t book titles around the room? Right? Yeah. What are you, what are those cues you can send? Sometimes kids get attached to very specific parts of a safe space. I remember even talking about it in presentation that you know kids can be attached to a couch. You know, I remember this couch. I grew up going to church groups, mm -hmm. and we always hang out on this couch, and it's gross and nasty, but I love <laughs> this couch, right? And, right. And I think as yeah. adults, to be cognizant of that. Yeah. And so when you remodel, when you huh. update a space, Don't be careful. The couch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that you might be removing some, some um, attachment objects mm. for young people that to them was a safe space. Yeah. And you'll hear that. You might hear folks come back to group and they say, where's that couch? Oh, my God, you got rid of that couch. Yeah. <laughs> so really yeah. think about being thoughtful about the space. And it's really their space. Yeah. And I think about people. Mm. People are safe spaces. Mm. You know, who who is always there to listen to you, who you know, you know, is dependent, uh, is dependable. In the last few years, there's been a mass exit. I think in a lot of different arenas, there's been a lot of personnel changes, mm -hmm. for example. Mm -hmm. And I think we have to attend to that. The people who are safe spaces for young people may no longer be working mm -hmm. in a particular agency or group yeah. or, right, they might have moved because of family reasons. Mm -hmm. How do you acknowledge that, mm -hmm. name it, and help young people understand, okay, why that person is no longer there, but who, who are? who are still there sure. and who you can now shift some of your trust to if you were so um, if you're inclined to sure. but it's good to have conversations yeah. about that